What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is Taco Tuesday, and I hope all your taco dreams are coming true. So, I've got something interesting here. <laughs> I, you know, I seem to piss off a lot of different fan bases, okay? Jason M., who emails me on a regular basis now, now that it looks like Trent Williams is re-signed and Brandon Ayuk are back, that he is definitely now back on the Cowboys hating train. He sent me an email today that said, uh, Cowboys prediction, I have the Cows going 9-8, and eight, third in the division, O-line is not good. D-line is worse. Unlike you, I need to see the linebackers play seven to eight games before I say they are better. Cal's offense will be good, but you're playing for a first playing with the first place schedule this year and not 12 tomato cans. Niners for life. So and we've heard, you know, Dan Urlowski, Dan Urlowski say that the Cowboys, you know, might be the eighth best team in the NFC, okay? That, that there'd be teams like maybe two teams from the South that are better. So today, the power rankings, the first ones have come out for the year. And I'm trying to understand where Jason gets, you know, um, his prediction of third in the division. I don't think it's going to be the Giants because the Giants, uh, as we go through the power rankings, they're ranked 31st. And I love this first statement here. It seems like a decade ago that the New York Giants were making a surprise playoff run that resulted in Coach of the Year honors for Brian Dayabold and a fat contract extension for Daniel Jones. That was followed by a dismal 2023 season in which Jones got hurt and the offense imploded. Now running back Saquon Barkley's gone and rookie wideout uh, Mike Neb Nebers in New York's Big Apple as the number one wide receiver. Uh, Jones told reporters he's confident the, Gi uh, the Giants offense will be better in 24. Good luck with that. They're rating them as the 31st team. And that's... Then we've got the Commanders. I'm assuming that you're thinking that the Commanders will finish better than the Cowboys. Let's move on down here. Washington. A new day is dawning. Oh! In the nation's capital in 2024. There's new ownership in Washington, a new head coach in Dan Quinn, and a new quarterback in the team's hope will lead the Commanders for years to come with rookie Jaden Daniels. Daniels told reporters he's anxious to take the field against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he's also aware that it's going to be bumps in the road ahead as he gets ready for the NFL. So they have them at 24th. So there's four teams in the division. And we have one at 31, power ranking-wise, and the other at 24. Then we can go down to where we have the Dallas Cowboys. Hmm. Cowboys, they have... Uh, the Browns that were playing this weekend at 16, Falcons at 15, Pittsburgh at 14, the Jets at 13, and then the Dallas Cowboys. Nothing is ever boring in Dallas. The 2024 offseason was no exception. It's not that there weren't massive personnel changes in Big D, quite the opposite. With little cap space and three massive extensions staring them in the face, the Cowboys essentially did nothing. But those extensions kept coming. Uh, keep hope. But those extensions keep things hopping in Dallas. Wide receiver Ceedee Lamb has spent most of the summer away from the team before only just recently inking his one hundred thirty-six million dollar pack. Dak Prescott and Edge Rusher are still with the team, but they don't have their mega deals yet. While t talking to the Associated Press, Clarion Williams, Prescott sounded like a player who may be playing out the string in Dallas before moving on in twenty twenty-five. I'm blessed to play the game, Prescott said, who counts $55 million against the team's cap this season. I'm getting paid a lot of money to do it. I've already got paid. To get paid again, that's just part of, of it. I'm due up, and that's whether for that, for that whether it's signing here or whether it's elsewhere. I don't think um, about that at this moment. It's all, for, it's all part of it for me. 
it's like I said, it's about controlling what I can and being the best version of myself. Best leader and make sure these guys in here understand that we're on a mission. It's not about next year right now. It's not about my contract. It's not about anything but getting ready for game one against the Brown. It's that simple. So there you have it right there. Cowboys ranked at 12. Go down. You've got the Rams at 11. Miami at 10. Buffalo Bills at 9. Green Bay at 8. And you have the Eagles at 7. So Jason says the Cowboys end up being third in the division. 31st. 24th and then the Cowboys at 12 and the Eagles at 7. After 11 games last season the Cow- the excuse me after 11 games last season the Eagles had one loss. The Eagles didn't look like the best team in the NFC East or the best team in the NFC. Philly appeared to be the best team in the NFL and it wasn't close. From there the wheels fell off completely. The Eagles won one more game, Dallas surged past them and claimed the division title, and Philly was embarrassed on the road in the wild card round. Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurst hasn't forgot the collapse. Um, he said he's learned from the debacle. Okay. So, there we have that. Um, it's funny because, let me see, who else is ahead of them? We got Cincinnati. We got the Baltimore Ravens. We got the Houston Texans, pretty much every San Francisco. We got San Fran, and then the Lions. So there's only three teams, and then Kansas City. There's only three NFC teams in the top ten. It's kind of amazing, actually. The Lions at two, San Fran at three, Eagles at seven, Eagles at seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Green Bay at 8. Green Bay is at 8. Buffalo's at 9. Miami's 10. The Rams. So, the Rams, that's the fifth team. So, they have five teams rated higher than the Cowboys. So, we'll see how that works out for the Cowboys. And, apparently, we'll see if what Jason is saying will hold water. That the Cowboys... Will be nine and eight. I'm still going with eleven and six. I'm saying eleven and six. I'm taking the over on Bet US as well of ten and a half. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I hope you guys are having a great day. Isn't it nice to have football to talk about as opposed to the regular just you know. You know. You know. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory. And the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Lincoln Mercury. Nobody has more kinds of cars or more kinds of people. See them at the sign of the cat. By Goodyear, makers of the custom steel guard radial tire. And by State Farm Mutual. Almost anywhere you live, there's a State Farm agent nearby. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs>